Hi, and welcome back to Arno TV. I'm your lovable host, Arno, coming back to you with another video. So, yesterday we were on here talking about, uh, you know, obviously it's been a while, hasn't it, since I was on here in January broadcasting, and a lot's happened since then, hasn't it? And yesterday we were on here discussing what happened with Matt Hancock, weren't we? Well, today, let's take a look at someone else that, that a lot's gone on with since January, Preeti Patel, okay? Now, have people out there forgotten about the laws that these kind of people have been trying to pass? You know, when I've come on here before and repeatedly called these people tyrants, okay? I've come on here and said that calling them tyrants. Do you want to know why I, I, I say things like this about these people and how these people are trying to rip up democracy and throw it in the dustbin? Well, let's have a look. Just in case anybody has forgotten a few things about these people. And let's not let these people forget these things because what's been going on is outrageous, okay? So let's go over to the internet and let's have a look at what I'm talking about. So just in case anybody missed this um, in July, okay, this is an article that was in the Mail Online, published on the 20th of July, okay? Let's read some of it. Journalists could face up to 14 years in prison for stories embarrassing the government under proposed changes to the Official Secret Act uh, that would treat them like foreign spies, okay? Change, it, change to the law would remove defense for reporters handed leaked documents. Home Office says it would undermine efforts to prevent damaging disclosures. A maximum jail term for journalists could go from two to 14 years under this proposal, okay? Journalists could face uh, face prison sentences of up to 14 years for stories that embarrass the government under plans to reform the Official Secrets Act. Under uh, consultation run by Preeti Patel's Home Office, which closes later this week, reporters who handle leaked documents would not have a defence if charged under new laws designed to clamp down on foreign agents. The 1989 Act is being updated to take into account the impact of the internet age, especially in the area, uh, in, the, in the area, should I say, of speedy data transfer. Human rights organisations and the Law Commission, which drew up the proposals, say that say there should be a public interest included to prevent the pro prosecution of journalists who received leaked documents, okay? So they want to put in there, obviously, the human rights organisations are demanding that there should be, uh, you know, a public interest defence for journalists. So if they obviously leak something or there's a whistleblower that comes out with, with, with information that is in the public interest, that they have a defence for that. But in a paper released for the consultation, uh, the Home Office said such a move would undermine our efforts to prevent damaging unauthorised disclosures, uh, disclosures which would not be in the public interest. Critics suggest that if the rules were in place now, it could have led to a prosecution of journalists who revealed, uh, revealed this month, which would, it was back in July, that Matt Hancock was breaking COVID rules by having an affair with his married aid because it relied on leaked CCTV, CCTV footage. The revelation prompted his resignation and the end of his marriage, but last week, the Information Commissioner's Office faced criticism for searching two homes as part of an investigation into how the material emerged and found its way onto the Sun's front page. So you see, this is what I'm talking about with these people ripping up democracy. I mean, you've got, seriously people, start thinking, 
What kind of a mind is coming up with a law like this? It's not somebody that is for open democracy, is it? It's not. This is the, this, these are the kind of laws that dictatorships pass, okay? This, you know, what are these people wanting to do? You know, create a new version of the Stasi or the SS, okay? Is this what these people are after? Okay, because these are the kind of laws that were passed under regimes of that nature, okay? And there is no disputing that these people are tyrants, okay? And it's, you know, it's not just uh, the Daily Mail that's printed articles about this. You know, there's also been articles um, in The Independent. The government is launching a multi-front attack on freedom of expression in the name of national security. Politicians claim to be keeping vital secrets, but their arm is, is control of information as a lever of power, okay? Matt Hancock's bungling effort to conceal his affair with Gina Colandangelo may give hope uh, to some that all government attempts to keep information from the public uh, will be equally futile. Unfortunately, the government has launched a carefully targeted multi-front offensive to hide its activities more effectively. Among measures being considered or already underway are a reformed official secrets act, which will conflate investigative journalism and whistleblowing with espionage. On Another front, the Freedom of Information Act, the FOIA, is being crippled by rejecting requests under resourcing. At an individual level, ministers and senior officials es escape security by using encrypted messages, services, uh, that they can make conversations that they have disappear from record. Well, isn't that convenient? Isn't that convenient? I'm not going to read all of these articles because there's plenty of them about this. I'm going to leave the links in the description. Um, so, you know, as I always do. But what these people are up to is they are trying to create laws where they are basically exempt from and, you know, following the rules, you know, there could be all sorts of scandals going on that if, you know, if journalists, you know, actually did their job and undercovered this kind of thing, which is in the public information, uh, is in the public interest, they're wanting to basically send these people to jail for up to 14 years. Does this sound like the law, <coughs> excuse me, does this sound like the law of a democracy to you? Do these people sound like Democrats? They are a bunch of tyrants. And this is the kind of law that Preeti Patel is trying to push through under the back of this pandemic. Because these people, you know, people like Patel and Hancock and, and Khan and the like, they see this pandemic as an opportunity, don't they, to push all this kind of thing through. And people wonder why I'm concerned about when people like Patel and Hancock are up to things like this, okay? This is what these people are doing. And, and just in case anyone out there hasn't heard of things like this and he's now absolutely disgusted to find out things like this. Well, just so you know, there is a petition out there, and I'll leave the link in the description, um, against them being able to pass this kind of a law, okay? And at the moment, it's got 117,119 signatures, okay? You know, and I think it should have a lot more. So if you feel strongly about this, then I'm not telling you what to do at all, but if you feel strongly about this, I will leave the link in the description to this petition. So if you want to go sign it, you can. Uh, but, you know, this is what these kind of people are up to. And, you know, when I've come online and I've said that these people are trying to rip up democracy and throw it in the dustbin of history, OK, this is what I'm talking about. Where these people have been using this pandemic to pass laws like this. And it's not just these kind of laws that these people have passed. Is it? For example, let's look at some other laws that these kind of people have passed 
in this pandemic that a lot of people out there might not have and might not even have a clue about okay but this is what our government has been doing okay this is what they're up to they they want to basically control any criticism against them okay because these people these people want to create a kind of world where we're all under draconian measures and they can do exactly what they want okay break any rules that they may happen to want to break or any uh, corrupt uh, acts that they might be involved in they want the power to cover all that up and, and, and just basically be people who dance between the rain never get wet teflon people people that nothing ever sticks to them well i don't want to live in a world where these kind of people are allowed to do things like this okay and this is what these people are up to and be under no illusion that this is what these people are up to because it's quite clear that this is what's going on they would like you to all live in a world where we all pretend that things like this aren't going on that would suit people like matt hancock and preeti patel wouldn't it and let's have a look at something else that they've pushed through um, in under the back of these uh, this pandemic that they pushed through in march just in case anyone missed this the covert human into intelligence sources bill and this is the fact sheet on it from the government website now there might be a lot of people that are wondering what all this is about well let's read some of it shall we Let's just read some of it. Covert human, human intelligence sources, in brackets, CHIS, are crucial in preventing and safeguarding victims from many serious crimes, including terrorism, drugs, and firearm offences, and child sexual exploitation. The participation in criminal conduct is an essential an inescapable feature of CHIS use. So what they're saying is this law, when this, when this law is used, participation in criminal conduct is essential, okay? And it's inescapable, okay? Um, it's, an, uh, it's essential and, inescapable, and an inescapable feature of CHIS use. Otherwise, they will not be credible or gain trust uh, of those under investigation. This enables them to work their way into the, into the hearts of groups that would cause us harm, finding information and intelligence which other investigative measures may never detect. The bill provides an express power to authorise CHIS to, to participate in conduct which would otherwise constitute a criminal offence. Okay, so they have created a law where they have given the authorities the power to commit crimes, to carry out criminal offences. Okay, it is not a new capability. The bill provides clear legal basis for a long-standing tactic which is vital for national security and the prevention and detection, uh, detection of crime. Any authorization for criminal conduct must be necessary and proportionate, uh, co uh, compatible with the ob obligations under the European Convention of Human Rights. The bill requires the Investigatory Power Commission to keep under, uh, under review public authorities' use of the power and to include, the, uh, include information on criminal conduct author authorizations in his annual report well that's very convenient of him isn't it now this bill as well just in case anybody doesn't know this this bill is authorizing this bill gives the authorities permission to use wait for it children i repeat children as spies as spies even against their own parents if necessary and this power can be authorized not only by the authorities that you might expect like the police uh, hm revenue and customs the military um oh no it can actually be used by your local council your county council the gambling commission the food standards agency 
okay? This is what these people are doing. And you can read the whole of this fact sheet because the information is there. Read it for yourself. This is what these people are up to, okay? This is the kind of laws that these people have been passing. And just in case anybody wonders, it's already gone through the Commons, the Lords, and is in the final stages. All right? This is what these people are up to. I'm not making this stuff up. This is on the government website, okay? And there's plenty of articles from back in March that were in the media about this, okay? So the information is out there. These people, this is what these people are up to. What kind of a government would want to use children as spies even against their own parents if required, okay? It's not the kind of laws that democratic governments pass, is it? And this is another one that's been pushed through under the back of this pandemic. And might I add, the only reason why this bill has gone through the parliament, the laws, and is in the final stages is because Keir Starmer, Keir Starmer, another one, who's a tyrant, barred his own MPs from voting this draconian piece of legislation out of the House of Commons. Okay, this is where we're at with this disgusting, despicable, disgraceful group of individuals. Okay, this is where we're at with these people. And, you know, this is why I say that these people are tyrants. And they're ripping up democracy, okay? As I said when we talked about this back in March, I accept, I accept that under exceptional circumstances, as, you know, it mentioned earlier, because they always try and, uh, you know, give you these scenarios to justify why they're kind of obviously trying to push through these kind of things. I accept that under the grounds of extreme circumstances where it is a genuine national security issue, a terrorism issue, a child explo uh, sexual exploitation issue, or, or drugs or something of that nature. Yeah, I accept that the authorities might sometimes have to do things that they wouldn't usually have to do in order to prevent really bad things from happening or, or ca catching some serious criminals who are up to s some serious crimes. I've got no... Nobody's got any arguments with that. But what these people are trying to do is create, is give the authorities a legal basis to go out and commit criminal offences. You know, to do things that if you or I did them, you'd be arrested and thrown in prison for. That is what these disgusting, despicable, vile people are up to. Okay, and they are all, all of these people that like to make you believe that they're not working together, but they are all quite clearly working together to push this agenda. Okay, that is what these people are up to people out there. And, you know, if I draw your attention to things like this, you know, it's not me who's, 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 who's passing laws like this. It's not me who's doing this. It's these people. But if I draw your attention to this and make you aware of it, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's a conspiracy theory. I am a conspiracy theorist. I wear a tinfoil hat, etc. That is what these people are up to. And it's about time. It is about time that these kind of people were made to be held, were held accountable for the things that they have been doing, are doing, and agendas that they are actively pushing openly out in the open. But if anyone questions it, it's a conspiracy theory. That is what these people are up to. And I want everyone out there to be fully aware of what kind of laws these people are trying to pass, have passed, and are going to try and pass in the future. Because these are not the kind of laws of a democracy. You know, as I said, I'm not making any of this stuff up. I'll leave all the links in the description. Go look into it yourself. Don't take my word for it. Actually go and click on the links and actually 
actually read what these kind of what these laws what they're wanting to do you go and read them and if you're horrified if you're not horrified by what these people are up to then there's no hope for you you know if you're comfortable with your own government passing laws like this then you know good luck but you know for the people that want to be informed i'm going to leave the links out there so thanks uh, for all my subscribers out there who uh, watch Arno TV, um, you know, thanks so much, guys. It does, you know, I do appreciate it. So I'll be back soon with some more videos for you. But until I am, I want all of you guys to take care of yourselves, your friends, your family, and your loved ones. And don't rely on these kind of people because I'm telling you, these people, these, these, these group of people, they don't care about us, okay? And it's as simple as that. So I'll be back soon with some more videos for you. Until I am, you take care and I will be back very, very soon.